Still, it says one. Hi, loves. I'll just call you that for now. Hi, loves. So, today, I am filming yet another video. <laughs> it's going to be a short and simple DIY. What is up with the lighting right now? Oh, no. Wait, where's the light? Where's the golden hour? Why is it all be so bright? And it's not even sunny outside. It's, like, cloudy and gross and ugh. Okay, short, simple DIY. I did this a while back, but I didn't film a video on it because I didn't feel the need to. But now, I want to. So, things you are going to need if you want to make this. A spray bottle. It can be any size. It doesn't matter what size as long as it's a spray bottle. And it can even be like a spray bottle that they, like the hairstylists use. But I'm using the my old uh bottle from the kids detangler and I took an index card and just wrote whiteboard cleaner and then I took some washi tape and put it down there and then some packing tape and just like taped it onto there and I wrote secret formula I don't know why but your new spray bottle I'm putting this over it just so I don't spill on my carpet so, yeah, you're going to need something to sit, set this on because this already has whiteboard cleaner in it. So, I'm just going to set it or prop it up like that. Okay. I mix nail polish remover with acetone in it and alcohol. It can be any kind of alcohol, but not the alcohol you drink because that's just not going to work. I'm wearing shorts. They're just really short. And they're maroon, so they match my top. But, yeah, I'm wearing shorts. So I'm going to pour in not a lot of alcohol, maybe like half a teaspoon. Or a teaspoon. About a teaspoon, maybe. I don't even know what that is. That looks like a cotton ball. Like a string off of a cotton ball. Ooh. That's as much alcohol as I'm pouring. Then I'll pour, okay. You see how much is in there? I'm going to pour it to when it's like right there. And I would recommend having a parent help with this if you want to make it. And maybe a splash more. And it just spilled over the bottle. I did this over something, but not that full. Now, if you do spill it over the side of the thing and you don't want to touch it with your hands or anything, you can just use a cotton ball to swipe the side and just kind of clean it up. <clears throat> okay. Then you just screw it back on very very tight wipe off any excess dripping or anything shake it up and then you have your whiteboard cleaner and that's all it is because I found <clears throat> that I some of my whiteboard markers some of my expo ones like they like to stain the board so I decided to, I went on Pinterest and found a whiteboard cleaner and they just said to use like strictly alcohol but I decided to use no polish remover and alcohol and that works for me and it works really really well. Um, sorry I don't have my whiteboard in here with me because it's too big but if I ever like draw something on my whiteboard and it stains the marker, I'll like make a video and show you how good this stuff works. But yes, so that is it for this video. i see you guys in my next video. Um, I'm going to try my hardest today to get this nursery tour up. So be on the lookout for that. It's just so hard to get it to upload or to process. And then once it's done processing, I can publish it. And then it'll be up. So I'm going to try my hardest today to do that. So, yeah. 
I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video.